This is a video about a three-month update on AT&T 1000 internet. Um, first of all, um, with fiber, whether it's the 1000 or the 100, um, there the biggest difference, the only difference with the AT&T fiber or any other internet is just the download and the upload speed. The times that you are downloading a certain file or uploading a certain file, those are the only times you're going to notice a difference. If you're gaming or if you are, um, if you're gaming or, or you're downloading web pages, um, there's not going to really be a difference. Whether it's 1,000 or 20 megabytes, uh, you're probably not going to notice much difference at all. Uh, the biggest difference is technically uh, you can download 4K video faster, but uh, for all practical purposes, that's really almost meaningless. Um, if you can download 1080p, I mean, you do, you're doing perfectly fine. 20 megabytes uh, can more than do that. Uh, so that's really not an issue hardly at all. Um, as far as the pricing is concerned, uh, most of the deals are when you start out. And so um, if you start out on the 100 megabyte plan, um, AT&T, for instance, gives a $10 a month discount for a year, and then it goes up $10 after a year um, at $50 a month. And that's actually probably the best deal. Uh, to get the 1000 is $90 a month, but again, the only time you're gonna notice it is when you're uploading or downloading files. And so if you only have like one or two people, then it's really, you're not gonna hardly see it. If you had a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of devices, then you know maybe there would be some advantages of having um, the, uh, the 1000. Um, even if you have like a, a spectrum and you only have like a 100 megabyte up a download and a 10 megabyte upload, um, that's probably going to be more than you'll need. Um, I think they run a special like $44.95 a month uh, for a year. Uh, after a year they go up also and they're higher after the year than the AT&T is. So the AT&T 1000 is probably, the 100 is probably the best deal overall. Uh, the problems you're going to run into with the fiber is that they use, with AT&T uses a PACE modem and it's not the best modem in the world and you'll probably end up having to buy another modem and some modems don't do well upstairs and then some of them um, only work downstairs um, and also there are different issues with modems um, some modems have problems with um, latency and some modems have trouble with DNS misses um, hardly any modem is going to be perfect they also have um, certain modems that come in packages of two or three different modems and these modems uh, may do better upstairs um, but the prices can be quite expensive to get a really good modem can run $300 and then also in addition to that they have trouble with their firmware and they have to update their firmware and some of them overheat and there are a lot of issues and so it can end up being a very expensive thing uh, just dealing with the modems more than anything else um, the one thing with a pace modem is it's a little bit slower starting than say a, a, um, a cable provider would be uh, cable providers, the ones I had in the past when I dealt with Earthlink, and it was actually run by Spectrum, it uh, would load, uh, from the time you turned it on, would in 30 seconds you'd have internet. Um, on this, with the Pace modem, it's more like two minutes. Um, and so it's a lot longer before it actually starts, starts to work. Um, technically, it's faster overall. There is a degree of latency there, uh, so if you're gaming or stuff, I don't think you're going to really see an improvement. Maybe if you spend money on routers and other things, you can get an improvement, um, but it's going to cost you to do so. Um, and then, um, 
So for me, um, having 1,000 uh, was a big excitement at first. It was a big plus plus because you can always just um, do things really fast. Uh, when you're downloading things, you can download real, real large files fast or upload videos like this real fast. But it's only good on a wired connection. The wireless connections are going to be slower. And so if you have a lot of users, you know, the wireless is going to be their main use. And so it means you're going to have to spend money on routers, and it's going to cost you. So it's not a, a cheap thing. And uh, the biggest thing also with uh, AT&T, for instance, is when you first start, uh, it's $90 if, if you own uh, the 1,000 and 50 on the uh, on the 100, but that's only good for a year. Then after that, it goes up. And then if you want to change back and forth during that year, they're going to charge you full price. So if you like, you went out on the 100, and then after a month or two, you said, "Well, I'd rather be on the 1,000." Uh, they won't let you have it for less than than the full 100 at that point. They may switch it over because the penalty on both of them is the same, whether it's a hundred or a thousand. So you probably can still switch, but they're going to charge you for it, and so you will get you'll lose that discount. So the biggest decision you make is going to be when you first start out as a as a customer. And if you're on Google Fiber or if you're on Comcast or Verizon uh, 5G, um, it's not going to really be any difference either. Uh, the, the main thing is really just uh, the download. As far as web pages, you're not going to notice any difference at all. Gaming is not going to be very much difference at all either. Um, and so, um, my advice would be just to start out on the 100. Um, and um, that's pretty much all I have to say after a year on AT&T, well after three months on AT&T 1000. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thanks a lot. Have a good day.